Okay, here's a quick animation and some few tips for doing some work in here. So sometimes when working, say I'm in Blender Render right now instead of the game engine, because I like to run my simulations in here because it offers particles, which we don't have in the game engine. The only thing it doesn't have that I need is keyboard access, which would really be great. And then you have simulations. So if I was to run this simple simulation here, you're going to see it running. It's just, it's just a little vortex in here. But I've added some uh, physics to these objects in here to make this work. There's a little instability in the particles that I haven't figured out yet, but if I change the size up and forth, it keeps it stable. That's kind of a very goofy thing. Even if I bake the cache on those particles, it kind of throws it off. But this works pretty well. But the other thing that's nice is a lot of times that little thing in there, turn that off so it's not in here. And more importantly is back down here you can just turn this come down to here I'll just stop bring up into here you'll see you can just turn this off right here your only render like that All right so that's what I just leave that off and that really helps so then you can run your scene no problem and run through simulations in here as well and record it just like I'm doing right now and it works pretty good. So Blender's a lot of fun. And I'll enhance this. Of course, these are just, you know, objects that are just made with uh, an array modifier. So they could just be anything. I'm sparing the house for now, but I could just as easily take a single object like this and with a few edits turn it into the kind of the shell of a house with just the single object, giving it materials and all. And you could duplicate that with an array modifier. And then it would have say a neighborhood. What you'd want to do is you'd want to come into a particular area. I've mentioned this in others is you take an area of the mesh and you flatten it first before you put your objects down. Otherwise you got to watch the objects bounce onto the ground and it just seems a little out of sorts when it does that. But So yeah, I'm just I'm waiting for the day. I'm Hopefully some point in time they'll have keyboard access in here and that would really be great. And I've, I could actually use uh, mouse access through menus and things like that, but it's not quite the same as like having it in the game engine. Okay, well, this is for the moment. Oh, yeah, one more thing I wanted to tell you about too that's also really powerful. Forgot, sorry, is this display. See my background display? See in here? Come up into here and you notice my. Where's my color? Let's see if I can find it. Where is my color? I I don't see my color. Yeah, there it is right there. See, there's my color, and it's actually displaying this color in the background like that. And that's one of the advantages if you turn your render off in here, you don't get that. Uh-huh. So that's very nice as well. Okay, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.